Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles and welcome back to the channel. I've been playing a lot of guitar, creating some music here in Mixbus 32C version 8. So let's check out this song. All right, so this sounds really good so far, but I want to experiment by sending the different regions to a Q slot on the Q page and then triggering the different sections with Q markers on the timeline. So the first thing we want to do is use our range tool and we're going to make a range in the section on the timeline that we want to bounce. And then with everything selected, we can just right click, go down to bounce, and we have the option to bounce directly to a trigger slot so we're going to make that A, and we can also bounce this to the clip library in case we want to use these for future productions. So for the name, we'll just call this the verse, and we'll hit bounce. Now if we go over to the Q page, you can see that all the tracks are now populated with the verse section on the first row. And we can trigger this by either hitting Q A or just the F1 key. Okay, that works for me. And let's go back to our edit window. And we are now going to select the next section here. And I don't want to get the little tail here at the end of the MIDI track. I'm just going to make a nice clean cut between measure 13 and measure 21. So now we can do the same thing. We can just right click, go down to bounce, and bounce the trigger slot B. And we can go ahead and bounce this to the clip library. We'll call this one BD for breakdown. And we'll hit bounce. So now back on the Q page, we can see that we have row B populated with all of our clips. Now we'll go ahead and hit F2 to trigger that. So what's cool about this way of working is that section would just keep looping over and over and over till you're ready to go to the next row. And this also gives us some room to experiment with our arrangement as well. So for example, if I want to throw in this little conga delay part, I can just slide that over. And now let's hear what this section sounds like with this new part. Okay, so that's definitely an option. Let's try out something else. Let's add a different groove to the B section. So whether I actually add that to the timeline first or add it to the cue page after I've already recorded some stuff, there's just a lot of room for experimentation there. So now that we're done, we can go ahead and add some cue markers to the timeline and we can trigger our different sections. And once the cue markers have been added to the timeline, we can turn on play cues and now just press play. So if you have any questions about Mixbus 32C version 8, 
Be sure to leave a comment down below or send us an email from our website. We are always happy to hear from you and eager to know which feature you like the best in Mixbus 32C version 8. So once again, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles and I'll see you in the next video.